So now, let's see how to trace out an image for animation purposes. So to trace out the uh, image, first of all, I'm going to import the image inside of Toon Boom. And for that, I need to go to File. I need to go to uh, Import right over here. And then I'm going to go to Images. Once I do that, I'm going to browse and select the image that I want to take a reference from. In my case, I'm taking an image of this turtle and I'm going to press open right over there. Once I do that, I'm going to import it as a Toon Boom bitmap drawing. So tracing is something that we did in uh, one of our previous lessons as well. So we're going to follow the same technique, only this time we're going to uh, make sure that it's for animation purposes. So once I select that, I'm going to press OK and then our drawing will actually appear. And since I imported, I imported this as a layer, I can go over here and then I can go to my selection tool and then resize it, keep it anywhere as I want. And as I go on to the drawing layer, you can see that it fades out because my light table mode is on just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock out the bottom layer right over here and the drawing layer, I'm going to trace it out. So for that, I'm going to use the polyline tool. So let me just zoom in and start by tracing out the head. Now, while I trace out, what I need to make sure is, uh, what I need to make sure is that I should know the movable pops. In our case, the head moves together, so we are going to have that as a layer. Shell uh, is another layer, and tail is another layer. Each of the four legs are different layers because we are going to animate them later on. So they have, it is very crucial that you keep them uh, as a separate layer. So let us start by tracing out the head. So for that, I'm going to use the polyline tool. I can click over here, click and drag this, and you can see that I can actually create a curve right over here. I can go over here, click and drag it, and there's the curve that follows. I can also click, uh, go over here, and then hold Alt to actually uh, I can actually go over here and hold Alt to actually uh, realign the Bezier curves right over here and then I got more control over the type of curves that I have. So you can see that this is how I can control. So I'm just going to trace out the head. So I'm going to go over here just like that. I'm going to go over to there, trace that out just like that. And over here just like that, just trace it out, press Control Z. And there you go. So this part right over here is going to be under the shell right over here. So it doesn't matter. So you need to under the shell. It is going to be under the shell itself. So it doesn't matter if it overlaps. Actually, it's beneficial, especially if you are uh, actually planning to animate. So later it doesn't give you much error. So now I can simply color this out or I can start tracing other parts. So I'm just going to color this out. So maybe I'm going to use a green color. Maybe I'm going to create a new color actually and rename it to head and I'm going to select a color for it. So I'm going to right click on it, go to edit and then select a color for it just like this. There you go. So a bit of a bright color over here, just like that. So that would be good. So I'm going to click uh, over here and then uh, I'm going to fill it out. So I'm going to go to paint bucket tool and fill it out just like that. So just to see it through uh, before I need to trace out the eyes as well. So I'm just going to go over here on to uh, my Bezier curve tool, uh, not Bezier, sorry, the polyline tool. So I'm going to go over here. I'm on the same layer because I do not need to animate this out. So that is what I presume anyway. So anyways, you can see that there's how you can add it out. So I'm just going to make this black over here. So I'm going to select out the line right over here and then I'm going to select black just like that. There you go. The head has been there. I can move this around a bit as well onto the side. And there you go. Okay, so that's the mouth. And now I need to uh, trace out the eyes as well. So for that, I'm just going to use an elliptical tool right here. And there you go. There's the eye right over there. I need to fill it out with a color that is black color. So black is selected, click on it, and there you go, there's the black. So that's the head. So I'm going to just fill it out with the color. It's on the same layer, and there you go. So that's done. So now we're going to work around with the other layer. So we're going to work around with the feet right here. So I'm going to uh, press the 
a plus icon right here and then create another drawing layer it's gonna be a vector layer and i'm going to add it in so this layer is going to be uh the front left leg so i'm just going to say front left fl so fl is the front left leg the drawing right over here let me just rename it to head so it's easier for us to work out with so now we're going to uh, go around with front left leg right over here so we're going to trace around this one so I'm going to go around here onto uh, my polyline and then trace that out as well. So I'm gonna go a bit inside, that's okay. So I'm gonna use the same color, that's fine. So I'm just going to go around with black for the outlines. So just trace it out, click, click and drag right over here. Click, click and drag right over here. You can see that that is how you can trace. And there you go. So just like this, I'm gonna do a bit of an overlap right over there, and there you go. So now I can go to the uh, same color as the head, but uh, it's actually a good idea to create a new color. So I can actually just uh, create a new color out, uh, out of this, the same thing. So I can copy the color ID right here, create new, and just that. So this is going to be head and this is going to be feet. So sometimes if you want to change the colors later on, it might be just helpful to have these different color uh, sources just like that instead of having the same one, even if they are the same color. So I'm just going to fill this out right here and there you go. So there's the drawing right over here. So since uh, this leg actually seems similar, I'm actually going to create a new layer now. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to simply uh, duplicate the selected layer so it has the same drawing on the top and the bottom so this is the front left leg and over here on the bottom you can see that there's the other leg so I'm just going to hide that out and the bottom layer I'm going to say front right leg right over here so that's the front right leg I can go over here and then I can simply rotate this around keep it over here and there's another leg just like that another leg over here just like that and there you go so it seems like the head should be on the top the, the uh, leg is actually blocking the head I don't want that so the head should be on the top so the head on the top just rearrange the layer and that's fine so if I were to enable this you can see both of the layers now as you can see turn off the light table and you'll be able to see the legs right over there so it's not perfect but that's fine because like by far looks quite fine so once you do that, we're going to go around with these legs right over here. So uh, the front right leg should be a bit smaller. So that's understandable. So let me just hold shift, make it a bit smaller so that I can actually move it aside. So let me just press control Z right here. Uh, redo. Okay, I need to select both of these. I need to select the both and the color. So just resize this a bit and then keep it aside over here. So just like that, I can keep it over there. So now we're going to work around with the back legs. So I'm going to create a new layer again. So go over here into drawing. Back left is what I'm going to work around with first. And then we're going to copy and paste that around. So back left and I'm going to turn on the light table over here. Go around here, go around to the polyline tool and start tracing it. So click here, click here. I'm going to choose black color for this one. So just go over here, click here, click, click and drag just like this. Click and drag over here, click and drag and there you go. So just like this, I can actually close this down and I'm gonna fill it out with the feet color. So just like that, there's another feet that we have. So just duplicate this layer now. So duplicate the selected layers and the bottom layer right over here. So just hide that layer out. The bottom layer is back right and I'm going to move it on a different spot. So just move it on a different spot, small size uh, because it's a bit on the back. Need to keep perspective in check as well. It's like this, there you go. So that's the other leg and there you go. So just like that, now we have multiple legs. So there you go, we got the legs and we got the uh, we got the head. Now it's time for the shell. So uh, I'm just gonna go over here and create a new shell. 
uh, shell layer that is create a new drawing that is going to be on the top of the head as well because it will cover up everything. So I'm going to uh, just disable all of the layers because I don't want to be distracted by all of these uh, different drawings. So just gonna go over here and create a new drawing. So I'm going to click on drawing over here and I'm going to say shell just like this and I'm going to add it in. So there you go, there's my shell. So let us just trace around. Seems like I forgot to draw the tail. Uh, so I'm just going to go around with the tail first then. So no shell, tail. So simple uh, drawing right over here. So simply take the polyline tool, uh, right over here, the polyline tool, click, click and drag right over here. Uh, so black line again. So work around with black, click and drag right over here. And then uh, that's a bit pointy as you can see. So click and drag. Hold Alt, drag it in over here, and then click and drag right here as well. So just like this, and then close this out. So it doesn't matter if it is overlapping. So then uh, I'm going to add in a color for this one as well. I'm gonna have a separate color for this one. So let's add a new color right over here, and then name it tail. All right, there you go. So once I do that, I'm going to fill that tail out as well. And there you go, the tail has been filled out as well. So hide the tail layer and create a new drawing layer and that is going to be the shell now. So finally the shell. Okay, so uh, work around to correct the spelling. All right, there you go. So, okay, cannot be renamed. It already contains a sub layer somewhere for reason. Okay, so just delete this out create a new layer shell okay there you go so new shell layer has been created right over here on the bottom i want it on the topmost part right over here so it's on the topmost part tail doesn't matter head tail you can keep anywhere in the front or back because uh, they don't overlap each other so let's go on with the shell now so I'm going to go over here onto the polyline tool and I'm going to click and drag this around. So click here, click and drag right over here and I'm gonna choose black color again. Keeps forgetting about it. So click and drag right over here, just like this. Click it, click over here, click and drag right over here, click and drag, click and drag and there you go. So I'm Tracing out the cell, just like this, as you can see. Click and drag. Oh, okay, so seems like we are lucky. And there you go, so our shell has been uh, just traced out. So once our shell has been traced out, now we're going to go around with the inner part. So I'm just going to click this to end the shape out right here. So we're going to track around the inner shape as well. So just like this, click. Uh, click and drag right over here, just like this. Hold Alt because I want a bit of a point to come out over here. Click and drag, hold point right over here. Click and drag, hold all points. Click and drag, Alt. Click and drag, Alt, and click and drag, just like that. And there you go, our shell has been uh, filled with details. So just like this, I'm going to add in other details right here as well. So just close it out by pressing it. And now these are the straight lines that we need to add in for details. So click here, click here. That's a straight line. One over here, one over here. If you are not happy with the thickness, you can actually change it later or you can change the thickness uh, before you actually start drawing, so that doesn't matter. So there you go, the shell has been traced out as well. So now I can finally turn off my uh, reference layer and I can turn on everything else. So just turn on everything else as you can see. And I'm going to turn off the light table as well. Uh, the drawing layer, I'm just going to hide that out. So over here what I can do is I can fill it out with another color. So I'm just going to go over here, I'm gonna say, shell just like that and for the shell color I'm just going to right click uh, over here edit it and then choose something like the shell color 
just like that. That's the shell color. I'm going to fill it out with my paint bucket tool right here. So that's the shell right over there. And there you go. There's our traced out drawing. So what we have over here is uh, we actually divided it in different layers. So what you can do is if you want to animate, uh, let's say the head. So we just want to animate the head. What we can do is now we can actually set the pivot point over here. And then if we were to now rotate it, you can see that the head is movable and other layers are actually all still. So this is what uh, you do to actually trace out uh, a character so that it's actually much more helpful to animate it later on in the stage. So uh, that's how you can uh, trace out um, trace out drawing for animation purposes inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.